Trudeau's lapdog at the CBC has let the cat out of the bag. CBC CEO Catherine Tate confessed that the Liberal government is the only thing keeping the CBC alive, and that they even need a new and improved financial plan. This damning confession strips away any pretense of the CBC's journalistic independence and integrity. The state media giant is clearly just a propaganda arm for the Liberal government, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his gang of Liberals. With Tate crying for more taxpayer dollars to promote the Liberal agenda, Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives are slamming the hammer on the CBC. And with the Trudeau Liberals plummeting the polls and Polyev's Conservatives surging. What does that mean for the CBC? Welcome back to Street Politics Canada. The head of Canada's national public broadcaster has made a startling admission. CBC CEO Catherine Tate openly admitted the network's survival hinges on the Liberal Party staying in power. Her stunning words confirm the worst suspicions of many Canadians, that our taxpayer-funded state broadcaster acts as little more than a mouthpiece for Trudeau's Liberals. Tate's confession that the Liberal-funded broadcaster's survival depends on keeping her beloved party in power just proves what many of us already knew all along. Tate bleated that the CBC desperately needs the Liberals to remain in government in order to avoid being defunded. This strips away any illusion that the CBC is an independent, unbiased news organization serving all Canadians. It clearly operates as a propaganda arm for the Liberal Party, pandering to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his cronies. With Tate openly begging for more tax dollars to push the Liberal agenda, Canadians have had enough. It's time we defunded and dismantled the bloated, biased CBC that refuses to hold the Liberals accountable. Tate's admission that the CBC needs continued liberal rule to survive proves the network is beyond reform or redemption. Our hard-earned money should not subsidize what amounts to the communications and PR branch of the Liberal Party. The CBC's massive bureaucracy and cushy patronage appointments must go. Tate's plea for liberal life support makes it clear the state broadcaster does not deserve public funding and cannot be trusted to report news objectively. The Trudeau-friendly CBC has eroded its credibility beyond repair. It's time we pulled the plug on this lib-loving, taxpayer-funded sham and got some real journalism in Canada. Tate claims combating disinformation is a priority while her network actually spreads fake news for the Liberals. The hypocrisy is galling but not surprising. All that matters to Tate is keeping her $1.2 billion budget flush with taxpayer cash. If that means campaigning for Justin 24-7, so be it. Her confession leaves no doubt the CBC is the broadcast wing of the Liberal Party of Canada. On Friday, to a room full of industry insiders at prime time, a conference for the broadcasting, film, and media industry, Catherine Tate said, Let's be clear. The mandate of CBC slash Radio Canada actually does not need to be reviewed. What needs to be reviewed is the financial model and how we are governed. CBC President Catherine Tate is requesting a new financial model for the broadcaster. But the only appropriate model is one where the CBC operates without any taxpayer funding at all. The CBC should have to fend for itself in the free market without the crutch of public money. It's time to cut off their endless subsidies and force the CBC to stand on its own two feet. If the CBC can't survive without taking money by force from taxpayers, then it should be defunded entirely. The CBC must learn to adapt and compete fairly without special treatment. Handouts have made the CBC bloated, biased, and unaccountable for too long. Defunding is the only way to reform the CBC into a truly independent media organization. Tate also suggested adopting a long-term charter or funding agreement for the CBC, similar to the BBC's six-year deal with the UK government. She noted other public broadcasters worldwide with five- to ten-year funding deals to allow for planning. However, the CBC pales in quality and relevance compared to BBC or Deutsche Welle. The CBC's programming is subpar nonsense, and the organization is self-serving with clear bias. I stopped paying attention to the CBC years ago when it became apparent they simply pushed their own agenda. Now only a small fraction of English Canadians even follow the CBC anymore. The CBC does not deserve the same long-term funding guarantees as respected broadcasters like the BBC. The CBC has lost the public trust due to poor quality and bias. And it's not just that, but Heritage Minister Pascal Saint-Ange has stated she wants to redefine and strengthen the CBC's role before the next election, to ensure the public broadcaster is in the best position going forward. St. Ong says she won't do a broad public consultation on the CBC's future, since that has been done many times already. Instead, she has appointed an expert committee to advise her on ways the CBC can adapt to digital transformation and compete with big tech. This includes looking at best practices from public broadcasters around the world. St. Ong did not directly respond to the possibility of legislating a new funding model for the CBC. 
She also acknowledged there is limited time to make changes to the CBC before the Conservatives could take power. The most concerning part is that Minister Singh Ange is trying to secure long-term funding for the CBC before the next election. This seems highly unethical. She is essentially trying to lock in funding for the CBC regardless of who wins the election. It's an underhanded move to shield the CBC from accountability. The Liberals looking out for their friends at the taxpayer-funded CBC shows their corruption and self-interest. This is just further evidence that the CBC is biased and needs to be defunded entirely. St. Ong is maneuvering to guarantee CBC funding even with the change of government is shady and unacceptable. Canadians have had enough of the Liberals' cronyism when it comes to the publicly funded CBC. With CBC President Catherine Tate openly admitting the network's partisan bias, it's clear the broadcaster is beyond reform. The sprawling Trudeau-friendly, taxpayer-funded entity must be completely defunded and dismantled. Tate's plea for more liberal rule confirms the CBC refuses to be neutral or objective. Conservatives have rightly pledged to pull CBC's funding if elected. Tate's panicked admission proves the CBC will do anything to stop that and keep their liberal gravy train running. Their desperation shows Canadians must act now to pull the plug on this bloated, biased, liberal propaganda machine. Tate even had the audacity to demand long-term, guaranteed funding for the CBC. This would shield the corporation from democratic accountability and allow it to continue propagandizing for liberals without consequences. It's clear they want to secure a long-term deal, so that in the case that the Conservatives win the next election, they'll still be bound to a 10-year deal signed when the Liberals were in power. With Conservatives threatening to cut off the CBC's funding, a panic Tate insisted they need Liberals in government to survive. The CBC's brazen institutional bias is out in the open thanks to Tate. Canadians are sick of seeing their money fund what is essentially the communications arm of the Liberal Party of Canada. While pretending to be neutral, it's now confirmed the CBC operates as a propaganda mill for Justin Trudeau and his band of spendthrift socialists. Take has ripped away the facade to expose the biased broadcaster Canadians see daily with their own eyes. Rather than pursue real journalism, the CBC invests in smearing and silencing conservatives who threaten to end their gravy train. Tate confessed their survival depends on liberal rule, so trashing the conservatives takes priority over truth. Canadians fed up with paying for liberal spin and disinformation have an ally in Pierre Polyev's conservatives. Polyev has rightly pledged to defund the partisan CBC that pumps out propaganda under the guise of news. Tate's admission vindicates conservatives' plan to pull funding for her useless liberal broadcaster. It's time Canada got some real journalism instead of Tate's tax-funded liberal cheerleader network. Defunding the CBC will be Polyev's first step in cleansing Canada's media landscape of institutional left-wing bias. Well, that's all for now. What do you think of Catherine Tate's and the Heritage Minister's comments? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. You can also follow us on Twitter, where we post stuff we can't post on YouTube. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.